Hey guys, this is Brandon Beckrich uh, here doing a day in the life video, uh, World Gym in Highland, Indiana. Uh, currently I'm off season, um, 275, 280, floating around that range, um, preparing for the Nationals in Miami this coming November. So, um, you know, basically what a, a typical day for me, um, I wake up, you know, 4 or 4.30 in the morning, uh, I do cardio sometime around 5 o'clock, I'll do half hour, uh, do a little bit of calves and abs as well, so... I'll head back home and uh, have my first meal. It's uh, from there come to work, and I usually work 10, 11 hour days. Um, typically, 10, 11 hour days. Sometimes they're a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. But it just depends on my clientele that day. Um, I'm usually doing anywhere from 15 to 18 appointments a day. I slow down a little bit just to give myself a little bit more time to focus on my training and um, cooking, and you know, spending time with my son and doing things like that. So. Um, <clears throat> I have my clients throughout the day. Um, I'll train them, and I have to block a timeout for my training, which is usually in the evening um, around 7 o'clock. So any kind of breaks that I have through the day I use for eating, uh, my clients are, are kind of scheduled around my, around my eating times, actually. So every day is relatively the same. With, uh, with my online clients, I have a, a specific time through a day where I'll take to answer emails and stuff like that, and you know do their updates when need be, and and according to their meal prep or according to their contest prep and whatever it is that they have going on. Um, you know, from there, that's really it. Actually, uh, Wednesdays I pick up my son, and I take the rest of the afternoon off. I take him to soccer practice, and he has soccer practice again on Thursday afternoon, and then he has his games on Friday nights. So, Friday nights I don't usually train. Um, I'll train earlier in the morning to get it out of the way so I can make his soccer games and stuff. So, and what, what is your client makeup? But uh, I mean, you don't just train athletes; you have everyone, right? Yeah, you know where I'm at. It's not typically a lot of competitors or anything like that. Not even a lot of athletes. The majority of the people are average. Um, you know, weight loss or yeah it's pretty much all weight loss or just trying to get healthy i have probably maybe 20 percent of my clientele are competitive in some way or another um you know i have all my online clients though are are competitive either figure or um or bodybuilding okay. now if anyone wanted to talk to like talk to you about consultation or anything like that, how they get a hold of you uh best way to do it would just be email uh brandon beckrich at gmail that's the best way to do it. Um, some people go through on my Instagram. It's uh, at Big B Super Heavy, or they'll hit me up on my my athlete page. It's Brandon J Beckrich. So on Facebook. So anyway, anyway is good. But typically, Brandon Beckrich at Gmail is the best way. So uh, we're at Costco here, doing a little grocery shopping. Uh, chicken breasts. Purdue chicken. I know it's not entirely organic, but. I eat entirely too much chicken to pay ten ninety nine a pound for that shit, so <laughs> I go broke over chicken and I'm just not about that life. So we do the uh, the all natural fit and easy USDA approved no animal byproduct and no hormones or steroids added. I guess I can't say that's my source. <laughs> okay. So uh, ground bison. It's a 90%, 90-10, which means it's 90% lean, meaning it's got about 10, 11 grams of fat. I like the bison because it's just the uh, the protein and the mineral makeup of it is real good. Um, texture, too, tastes a lot better. I was going to get this organic beef here, but then I realized it's not exactly very lean. It's got 17 grams, so you could say it's 83 percent lean so I don't need to be messing with my cholesterol and I just don't like that greasy ass meat so <laughs> we'll get uh, we'll get some ground sirloin somewhere else 93.7 something like that flank steak uh, my favorite choice of steak it's, uh, it's real tender it's fairly lean the flavor is awesome so that's really all I eat I really don't do sirloins I don't do fillets because I'm cheap ass like that Six ninety nine a pound, not fourteen ninety nine a pound. So, I'm a cost effective shopper. Now, do you in your off season or anything? Do you do fish or anything about like that, or no? Not really. Much. No, not too much. I yeah. do fish. Um, I do fish pre contest a lot, so I try to save my palate for pre contest. Yeah. Are you yeah. not a fan of fish it's year round? I like fish. It's just it's not filling. It's like air to me. Yeah, I'm yeah. a steak and potato guy, so when I eat fish, I feel like I haven't eaten for hours anyway. So, I save it for pre contest. Yeah, you're going for that shit. 
sweet potatoes. Ooh. Bodybuilder's best friend. How do you pick out the perfect sweet potato? <laughs> Ken Jackson claims you want the big fucking sweet potatoes. I shouldn't say fucking, should I? No, you're fine. We keep it real. Yeah. <laughs> See, the problem is, is when you cook sweet potatoes, I bake them and I cut them up real thin. So we got a big ass sweet potato. It's hard, it's like cutting through a damn watermelon. So, personally, I go for more of a medium size. So it's much easier because the containers that I use, I can just slice them up and put them in my container, which you'll see later. So the perfect sweet potato, like so. Ten is black though. Ten is black. So everything's bigger when you're black, I guess, right? That's what they say. Right, watch out, Ken. When I turn pro, <laughs> we're going to find out. Oh. Okay. Liquid egg whites, a man's best friend. Hi. You're on camera. Say hi. My son that too. Yeah, they're perfect. I don't have to crack eggs all morning. There's 50 grams of protein for each of them, so I usually will do one of these and I'll do like four whole eggs. Perfect. And they're clean. Not too bad.